What's up, Chatter God? It's your girl Ebony, and I'm back with another video, another word, another level of understanding, another word from the Most High God. Listen. <laughs> When I say I can't stop smiling because God is so funny. Listen, God is saying many of you are being sent out right now. Cast out the doubt. Cast out complaining. Cast out the negligent feelings that you're getting over what he has already told you. God is sending you guys out vastly, very quickly, abroad. And there is really nothing much with, of that. Ah! There's really nothing that you can do about it but obey. Okay? God is saying many are many are the afflictions of the righteous, but he delivers you from them all. That means don't worry about what they say about you. That means don't worry about what they're doing. He says don't consider He says don't consider the doubt. Don't consider reconsider reconsider the doubt, okay? He says don't let that thing work against you. Allow it to work for you apply pressure apply pressure i can't stop laughing jesus apply pressure feel this heavy in the spirit that this joy is coming through radiantly like he has given most of us at this season a rambunctious spirit okay he says his your oath is not to man it's to him he says you are the remnant he says the left behind is in you listen encourage your spirit to grow and grow and grow vastly to opportunity no more wayward thinking or thoughts about what he's giving you jesus listen listen divine income is coming i'm trying to tell you my hands is itching and for me <laughs> having a relationship with god I don't know, not too many that maybe said this, but child, listen, I am a reflection of my father. And when my hands get the itch and he's telling me it's something in your hands, it's something in your hands. Listen, child of God, be, be fearfully and wonderfully made. Okay. Listen, no arbitrary spirit, no um doubting emotion could come in between what you and god have this thing is really written on your testament and i'm trying to tell you there was a rim there was a person there was a people there was a people who didn't obey god when he sent them out um in deuteronomy and two nine and baby let's just say it wasn't pretty let's just say it wasn't pretty those are the same people that let's just say it wasn't pretty okay those were the same people like um moses <laughs> moses leading all of the tribes or ministries or whatever to a certain destination or time frame in which god consider it to go or go to or where he led them to go right stay with me child of god because i'm trying to keep up okay i i can keep up but listen so as he was leading the Israelites to a certain place and where God instructed him to go, they end up staying for too long in certain areas and where God didn't want them to be causing them to arrive at a delayed time. Right. And so God was really mad about that because because Lo Moses was the head, he was getting the affliction the worst because when God tell you something and he needs you to be at a certain place in a certain time, it doesn't matter that outpour that outreach or where he's sending you or guiding you to, you must exist. You must come in tune with his guidance and where he's showing you to go. And so as he was doing this, Moses, when he finally arrived to the destination that God was sending the children to, he told them like, y'all got to remember listen y'all seeing god do all these miracle signs and wonders in egypt y'all seeing him do all these transformations brought y'all out of a rock and a hard place took y'all to transported y'all to so many different outcomes have fed y'all along the way this is another step to go across the jordan into the land of promise where god is sending you into the unknown which you may not know but yet you still have to trust god with your eyes closed and so god is saying in this season that you have a spirit in within you that it's not going to come by 
force or might you're gonna have to pick up your cross and literally walk you're gonna have to make the decision and the choice to trust God outside of the unknown because God wrath was brought upon certain people who decided that they couldn't trust God enough to say that oh God you're gonna take care of me in this new place when they got so comfortable in the old place and so after they were sitting there blood ridden off of everything that they were having um being so you know what i'm saying lukewarm or just uh not satisfied enough and god more so sat satisfied enough in the things that were centered around them or where god brought them to but when god tells you to keep going keep going keep going keep trusting him you have to keep leading you have to keep on to the unknown your season may not be like the next person you can't put your all your eggs in one basket you have to trust god even when you don't know it could be a time where he sends you out but then he picks you up and tell you i'm gonna need you somewhere else you understand what I'm saying? But God said that in the occasion that you go somewhere, I have already went ahead of you. I have already walked this thing out purposefully. And what is according to my will shall be done according to you as it is done in heaven. And so anything that you touch will turn to gold because I have already sent my spirit ahead of you. Which means there is a covenant on this thing. Which means the ancestors of God's choosings of choice is already been there and done that. You just got to do your portion. You just got to do your part. So there is like, there's come a great time where there's a great washing away of those who didn't trust God. And he was so upset. He was so upset. I suggest y'all go read Deuteronomy 2 9. I'm pretty sure I may read a portion of it real quick, but you go back and study it yourself so you can see that you won't be um left behind in the physical. You get what I'm saying? Stuck in a place where God didn't even call you to, or you sitting there for too long and you showing up to where he's perceiving you to go to late be on time say it with me be on time so yeah it was deep for me when i read this i caught this real quick it was like yeah transformational for me so i'm gonna go ahead and read hmm it says god where will you have me at today let's do where you want to go okay let's talk about it let's talk about it it says you answer me what you propose to do is good i'm in deuteronomy uh two verses eight and this is chapter one so i'm starting at 14. you answered me what you propose to do is good so i took the leading of men of your tribes wise and respected and appointed them to have authority over you as commanders of thousands of hundreds of fifties and of tens and tribal officials and i charged your judges at that time hear the disputes between your people and judge fairly whether the case is between two israelites or between an israelite and a foreigner residing among you do not show partial ality and judging hear you hear you or hear both boo, 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 hear both small and great alike do not be afraid of anyone for judgment belongs to god bring me any cause too hard for you and i will hear it and at that time i told you everything you were to do listen god is given vague instructions vague i, I want to say limitations but don't place those limitations on God. He's giving you divine instructions so that you may gird, be girded in your system where you're protected and you're doing exactly what he needs you to do and execute it at the time he needs you to do it. I'm trying to tell you, child of God, listen, it's in the system of building. You have to be there. When he says go, you have to go out listen don't let that work be off or nothing do what you so told to do because you got to realize on on in earth as it is in on heaven there are certain uh, markings that you have to reach so yeah on your name your name is invested in this god has did such a thing so it says spies sent out then as the lord our god commanded us we set out from harold and went toward the hill country at 
of the Amorites through all the vast and dreadful wilderness that you have seen and so reached Kadash Barnea then I said to you you have reached the hill country of the Amorites which your Lord our God has given us see the Lord your God has given you the land go up and take possession of it as the Lord the God of your ancestors told you do not be afraid do not be discouraged then all of you came to me and said let us send men ahead to spy out the land for us and bring back a report about the route we are to take in the towns we will come to the idea seemed good to me so I selected 12 of you one man each tribe they left and went up into the hill country and came to the valley of Eshkol and explored it taking with them some of the fruit of the land they brought it down to us and reported it is good it is a good land that the Lord our God has given us okay and so I'm gonna read this real quick and then I'm gonna let y'all read for yourself this one is rebellion against the Lord so actually, nope, we're just going to encourage you to grow. <laughs> go, grow, 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 go and grow. God has said grow and go. I'm going to encourage you to grow, 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 grow beyond the limitations of statues of other people. Grow, grow, position yourself to grow. That is what the Holy Spirit is saying. And keep a sound mind about it. Have love and peace and strategize this, this union to get rid of the iniquity that is fighting up against you i love you child of god be well be blessed be fruitful be marvelous and shine your light because it's shining child <laughs> bye <laughs>